Hey everyone, so I'm in the car and I'm on the way to the consultation. So sorry if it's a little shaky. Um, the roads are so bad because of the snow and my mom is driving. She's driving my car because I wanted to vlog. Plus the doctor's office is downtown so I can't parallel park. I need to learn how to do that. We're on our way now. I have a 10.30 appointment and I am really excited. The only thing I'm nervous about is stripping down. Um, like that's the only thing I'm really like nervous about. I'm not even that nervous. It's just like I'm not, I've always been kind of in, like not insecure but I just haven't really loved my boobs ever. So like in front of my friends and everything like I just kind of like always turn around. Just like that's the only thing I'm a little nervous about is showing my boobs. Anyways, I'm going to be answering some of the frequently asked questions in this video such as price, who's paying, my doctor, saline silicone, size, if I thought about my future babies. So just a bunch of these questions but I'm going to wait until after I have coffee and the bumps get a little bit better. Tony, are you excited? Oh, uh, yes I am. Oh my god, the road is so bumpy here. Mom, are you excited? I'm really excited. Super excited. Okay, um, I guess since we're, you're here right now, uh -huh. uh, I was getting a lot of questions like, what do your parents think about it? So what do you think about it? I think it's a great idea. I think it's something that you want to do for the right reason, and I'm supportive of, of that, so. And you had one too. Well, I, yes. But you waited until after kids. Yes. Yeah, I was in my 30s. And what does dad think about it? I mean, obviously dad, he's like, I'm his little girl, so he doesn't want, I don't know. He would prefer he, not, but he, he knows that this is really important to you, so I think he's supportive, you know, for that reason and that reason alone. I got so many questions, especially where, where people could be anonymous. They're like, oh, mommy and daddy are paying for that. And when I was younger, I did say that my parents would pay for half of it. Um, but now that I kind of have enough money I mean why would I make them pay for half of it when I have enough to answer the questions not that I owe anyone an explanation of who's paying for it but I mean I told you guys I'd be completely honest through this whole process I am I'm gonna be paying for 95% of it myself I've been saving for so long and you guys have to keep in mind that I'm 19 years old and I live at home I don't have to pay bills I don't have to pay electricity hydro anything so all my money I can put towards what I want so for I mean everyone's saying like oh you must be saving for a while yeah I have been saving for a while because this is something that has been really important to me and if you've noticed I've had like no hauls lately on my channel except for a couple of clothing hauls because I need clothes but I mean, I've just been saving as much money as I can, especially with the holidays and everything. It has been a little bit harder to be putting away money. For the most part, I've been saving all my money. So, yes, I mean, I'm not saying my parents won't pay a little bit of it, but out of the whole thing, I'm responsible for like 95% of it. If you don't believe that, if you think like I'm lying or anything, that's really, I, I don't really care. But I just wanna be like upfront and honest with you guys. And like I said in my why I'm getting a boob job video, this is an expensive surgery. It's not like I'm just saying like, oh yeah, one day I just want to get my boobs done. That's like, that's it. It's not a hundred dollars. It's, it's like, oh, well, how much was yours? Uh, it was about 6,000. That was many years ago. So was... My mom's was 6,000 when she got hers done like eight years ago. So it's, it's something that you really have to think about. Like I could buy a Chanel bag with the amount of money I saved and you guys know I love handbags. So it's something that I obviously want and have thought about. Another question that I got a lot of was if I thought about my future kids because you guys know that I do want to be a mom. And yeah, obviously. According to everything I've read, the chance of a boob job affecting your chance of breastfeeding is really, really low. And I mean, like every woman, I think, obviously when you have, well, I, my mom chose not to breastfeed me, um, but I mean, I think most women want to breastfeed their children if they are able to. So obviously, I want to breastfeed my children if I'm able to, but I'm just feeling like I'm the type of person that I really like to live in the moment. Why wouldn't I get it now, you know? Like, why would I wait until after I have kids and I'm like, settled down? It honestly, like, I don't feel like it would be the end of the world for me if I wasn't able to breastfeed because of my breast augmentation. I feel like there are more pros and cons to this right now so yes I have thought about my future kids yes I do want to have kids so many people who have had breast augmentations are able to breastfeed so I'm really not concerned about that at all so another question that I am getting a lot of is what size I'm getting and I'm gonna insert some pictures now of like the size inspiration I'm aiming for like a third well like my band size like a 34 C so that's what I'm aiming for oh, thanks thanks for the half bagel 
So that's what I'm Thank aiming you. for. Oh, God. So I'm on my way to Vermont now to visit my best friend Sierra with one of my other best friends Nikki and I finished my consultation which was pretty convenient since we have to go through the city to kind of get to Vermont so anyways I finished my consultation his name is Dr. Papa Anastasio my mom got all her surgeries with him she's gotten a few plastic surgeries and they look great so I trust him I was keeping an open mind and if I didn't feel a good vibe from him or if I just felt like rushed or anything I knew like I didn't have to I didn't want to go see him but I can tell you like from start to finish the whole experience was really really great he answered any questions I had and then started off with a nurse and she answered all the questions I had and then he came in the room and did all the squeezing and everything so the type of implant that I'm going with is a round cohesive gel implant the nurse started off because I have a small frame and the nurse was like oh like because he measured my my boobs and they are 12 and 12 centimeters no something 12 across he was like I can only put like if your breast size breast if your boob size is 12 centimeters or whatever 12 across I can't put like a 13 in so the only way that we could get more volume is if we did it out so they start off with a moderate profile and then now we're doing a full profile and I believe the implant will end up being a 345 uh, cc cohesive gel and they don't do saline anymore I went in thinking I wanted saline but they said that it is kind of like an obsolete implant my mom has saline and they look great but a lot of the time they would start rippling and they could pop it has come a long way since like the Pamela Anderson days it's also gonna be he said it's gonna be under the muscle but also in the breast tissue so it's gonna look really natural and round which is exactly the look that I want I really don't want to look too fake I don't want to look fake I don't want to look like natural. a bimbo I just want to look natural like I have naturally big perky boobs so I'm really happy with how that's gonna turn out I'm really really excited and what else did I want to answer the cost it is a little bit more than I expected yeah it's it's around ninety six hundred dollars which is a huge chunk of money but like I said I thought you were laughing but like I said it is something that I've wanted for so long but I'm investing it in myself and honestly it's what I want to do I was kind of going in thinking it would be around 8,000 so it is gonna be I mean without a discount it's like around 9600 so it is a very pricey procedure like I said it's not a hundred dollar procedure that I'm just deciding randomly like Nikki as like my friend when did I start talking about wanting to get a breast augmentation when your mom got one yeah in like grade five yeah I mean like like no like I had to, I had puberty but it started like high school yeah like, like early high school like early high school well you knew like you didn't have boobs yeah like she started growing boobs like Nikki and I kind of like got our periods around the same time and she was growing these big boobs and I was just not so yeah, like a double D. yeah Nikki is a double D <laughs> I'm a double A they measured me so that was really great <laughs> anyways so I talked about being really nervous about showing like just stripping in front of the doctor and I can say, like, you just kind of had to jump in. I had to take off my shirt in front of the nurse, and my sister was in the room. I just, I never wanted anyone to see my boobs, so I just, like, you know what? You just have to take off the shirt and deal with it. They see so many boobs a day. Like, it's, it's fine. So I did that, and they were really professional about it. Like, it honestly, it wasn't really bad. And then the doctor, like, he was, like, you know, measuring them and, like, touching and measuring and squeezing about volume, and it, it, it wasn't that bad. So if you're a little, I don't know, I don't want to say prude or a little bit more self-conscious or anything about that, like it really wasn't that awkward about the surgery. I, my mom was like, wow, I was really proud of you. Like you, I thought you'd be so much more like nervous or uh, awkward, but it was fine. And the doctor was really good. I was able to joke with him. So now it's just all about booking and paying. But yeah, I'll post all the information for Dr. Papa Anastasio in the description down below. I think that's all I wanted to say about the consultation. Everyone was really, really nice, really welcoming. I felt, I don't know, I just feel like if you went in and you felt really rushed, like you were just not being comfortable. And I was really comfortable. I was able to joke with the doctor. We were talking about like small boobs or like the shape of my boobs. And he's like, does it bother you? Oh, because one of my boobs is smaller than the other by like a little bit. <laughs> And he was like, does it bother you? I was like, no, like it doesn't really bother me. I haven't had any complaints like from guys. So I was okay with that. And he was laughing, I was laughing, everyone was laughing. But anyways, um, that was my consultation. Now we're going to Vermont. Yeah. 
busy, busy day. That is pretty much it. So if there's anything else, I'll definitely take out the camera. I just really, really love this bag. I feel like it's so different from anything in my collection.